In today's video, we're talking about Amateur Wire for product photography. Hey everyone, welcome back to the second video in this series on product photography tools, where I go through my kit and I show you all the bits and pieces that I use that are not photography items, but there's things that I use in order to craft my photos. Uh, I've got a toolkit that is full of stuff. In fact, let me show you the toolkit. Okay, so this is the kit that I'm talking about. Uh, and in this case are all the things that help me to prepare for the shoot or prepare the product for the shoot. There's a lot of stuff in here. And if you wanna see all the items uh, in this case, then at the end of this video, I will set up another video as a suggested video that you can watch as well. Uh, one that I did a little while ago where I went through everything that's in here just very quickly and just list out all the different items. Now, what we're talking about today is armature wire and that's this stuff over here. And I realized that it does look like just regular wire, but it, it's not, it behaves way, way different to regular wire. So this stuff here is very pliable. Uh, it's very strong and uh, very, very flexible, but it does hold its shape really, really well. It doesn't behave like normal wire, where if you did that with regular wire, there's a little bit of spring back action. Uh, in fact, let me just get some wire and I'll show you. And what I've got here is just a coat hanger and I'll show you what I mean. You can try and bend this into shape, but if you bend it, you'll notice that it's got this spring back uh, sort of memory effect. Now the armature wire has almost no memory effect to it. So whatever position you bend it into, it tends to just stay in that position. Uh, it's a little bit easier to work with as well because it's not as strong as the regular wire. Uh, but you could make it stronger if you could just, you could just double it up if you wanted to. Uh, you could uh, wind two of these together and you could get something that's a little bit stronger. But it is a lot easier to work with. Uh, you also got, you've got different gauges. I've got a smaller one in here that I use sometimes in garments. But I'm going to show you some examples of how I use armature wire in my product photography. And guys, just before we go on, if you are enjoying this video, could I ask you to click the like button? Uh, that really supports me and the channel. And it also tells me that I'm making the kind of videos that you enjoy watching. Now for this shot here, the client requested that we take a shot of the box halfway open so that you could see the product, uh, but they didn't want the lid open all the way. So uh, that lid itself was actually quite heavy and it's made of cardboard. So there was, it, it just wouldn't hold that position on its own. So what we did is we taped a little bit of armature wire to the back of the lid and you can't see it in the shot, but then that gave it that strength where, uh, and that support where we were able to just uh, play around with the lid to try and get the right position uh, that the client was happy with. Now, another time where this came in really handy was during a fashion shoot, where we had this one particular garment that just wasn't behaving at all, particularly in the collar. The collar kept curling, and so what we did is we cut a tiny little piece of uh, of this, the thinner wire, probably about that much. Uh, we taped it to the underside of the collar, and then we were able to shape the collar exactly like the client wanted it to look. Now, another thing you might want to look at is armature wire mesh. Now, I don't have one here, but essentially it's just a mesh made out of this stuff. And those come in really handy when you're working with textiles. A little while ago, I had a client that makes towels uh, high-end towels and they wanted a setting where the towel itself mimicked the ripples of uh, a pond of water and it became almost impossible to do so what we ended up doing was sewing uh, some mesh to the underside of the towel and essentially then that made the towel rigid but also flexible so we were able to then shape the towel as he wanted now I'm giving you examples of the way that I use this, but this doesn't have one use. This is a tool that you can get creative with when you need to solve problems whilst on set. And it's also one of the most inexpensive tools that you can get to help you with your photography. Uh, and you can get this stuff at any arts and craft shop, but if you do wanna get it online, uh, I'll put a couple of links in the description uh, to the ones that I use. And guys, if you're interested in seeing the rest of the items in that case, this is part of a series. And in order to see the rest of the videos, make sure that you click the subscribe button. You can click it now, it won't stop the video, but what it will do is it will notify you every time I upload a new video, it'll come up as a suggested video and it will give you the option to see it. And this way you won't miss out on any of the videos that I publish. And finally, if you're interested in photography, make sure that you check out ministryofphoto.com. That's my site where you're gonna get links to all of my videos. There's some tutorials in there. 
There's some reviews, there's some freebies. Uh, you can download some Lightroom presets, that sort of thing. It's completely free and it's ministryofphoto.com, so make sure you check it out. All right, guys, that's everything for this video. If you do have any questions about uh, this stuff here or anything else for that matter, the comment section below is probably the best place to get in touch with me. Otherwise, you can just reach me on any of the usual social media platforms. Uh, you're gonna find all the links in the description. Again, guys, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. I wanna thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.